<laughs> I don't care for one minute about your so-called sadness. I'm in it for me. And you can take that to the bank, you boring old cocksucker. <laughs> oh, hello. You caught me right in the middle of my puppet play. You sure did, motherfucker. Don't ever interrupt him again, got it? <laughs> Have I introduced you to my puppet? Obviously you did not, you fat toad. His name is Billy Mack, and he is the king of the puppet people. Bow to the king, motherfuckers! I love playing with puppets. You can make them say and do whatever you want them to say and do. Dumpty dumpty dum, I'm just walking around the house. Dum dee dum dee dum, stay the fuck out of my way. You see? Puppets are a great way for you to release things out of your mind that you normally hold captive. For me, I like to release my repressed anger. I swear to God, if you don't hurry up this fucking intro, I will smash your tiny balls into a pizza pie and force you to eat it. I'm certainly glad you made it today for my puppet play. I think this would be the perfect time to teach you all a little bit about release. <laughs> Jeff? 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 I've got your mail, but your door is locked. He's busy, asshole! Come back some other time. But I... Oh, look! It's Sky, the postman. Hello, Sky. Hello, Jeff. I'm so sorry for interrupting. I was just trying to bring you your mail. Oh no, Sky. Please allow me to apologize to you. I wasn't paying attention when Billy Mac answered the door. Billy Mac? Billy Mac, my puppet. The Puppet King. The Puppet King? That's right, bitch! Don't you forget it! Oh, I see. Have you ever tried controlling a puppet, Sky? I don't think I have. It's both fun and easy. You simply put your hand inside its bottom, and then you make a voice for your puppet, like this. Hi, I'm Billy motherfucking Mac, the goddamn Puppet King. I'm beginning to think this is super cool. Would you like to try, Sky? I think I would. Here, try with this one. It's a puppet that looks like a sexy frog. You can name it whatever you like. I think I would like to call this puppet Shiloh. I love that name. Nice to meet you, Shiloh. What's up, baby? Ooh, honey. I'm just so glad to be here looking at you cats. Ooh, he's certainly oozing with love. Yes, I know. I want him to ooze with love. What's up, guys? It's Nurse Q Nguyen. Hey, it's Nurse Q Nguyen. Hi, Nurse Q Nguyen. Hi, I raced here when I heard you all were playing with puppets. Puppets are my favorite. Where is Andrew Fleischer, Nurse Q Nguyen? Aren't you supposed to be taking care of him? Oh, that's my bad. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, this is awkward. That motherfucker came here so fast he forgot the guy in the wheelchair he pushes around. What a fucking dope. Oh, you said came so fast. That's right. <laughs> Hey, everyone. Oh, it's Andrew Fleischer, the expert. I'm so glad you made it today. Yes, hello. I would have come over earlier, but my nurse teleported over here without me. Again, that's my bad. I do blame it on my excitement, though. Fair enough. Do you have puppets for us? You took the question right from the mouth in which it was going to be asked from. Mine. Of course I have puppets for you all. Oh, no. Puppet play again? Oh, hello, Jacob. Oh, great. This whiny little bitch. He can't stop complaining no matter what is going on. This is why puppet play has been a bit of a struggle for me. Hey, Jacob, look at my puppet. His name is Shiloh. Oh, Jacob, I love the bathrobe and no shirt look. You're like an eight pack away from being the sexiest bitch in the room, you fucking motherfucking motherfucker. Well, that puppet's not so bad. Again, sorry to bother you all, but Jeff was about to divvy out puppets for us. That's right, I was. 
This one is for you, Andrew Fleischer. It's a puppet that looks like an uptight professor, and he knows a lot about a lot. That's not at all different from me. Right, guys? Guys? I mean, it's not going to be difficult to embody this puppet, is all I'm saying. Well, I certainly disagree with that assertion, young Andrew Fleischer. The differences between us are vast, particularly because I actually know a lot about a lot of things, and you, sir, are a fraud. You guys, I think I just successfully puppeteered. Yes, you did. Very nice. I apologize for my disabled friend not introducing me. My name is Professor Von Splackett. Oh, I love a smart nerd. Sexy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the f*** on with it. I'm bored as f***. Jeff, I will admit I have been patient, but at this point, I'm dying to meet my puppet. Here is your puppet. It's a shy schoolgirl with red hair and freckles. That is awesome. Let's do this. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I feel so silly, but... Here goes. I'm Anne. <laughs> this is as good as I expected. Jacob, are you not going to puppet with us? It's not my favorite of activities, but I guess I'll try because trying always leads to individual growth. Yes, that's the spirit. Pussy! Okay. Give me a puppet. Here you go, Jacob. A puppet designed just for you. He's a half-demon, half-chinless cricket named Manimal. Okay. Here goes. I have no idea what that was. Oh, Manimal sounds absolutely nightmarish. <laughs> the tension in this room is kind of intimidating. Don't worry, my dear. I'll protect you. <laughs> okay, I'll try to develop trust for you. Well done, everyone. I'm so glad to meet all your puppets. And now, we can begin our puppet play. Who's going to narrate? What's up, everyone? Oh my gosh, who is that? That's my inner voice. Your inner voice can talk out loud? Does this guy ever shut the f*** up? Yes, Jacob. My inner voice can talk out loud whenever I want to release it. Hey, I have an idea. Instead of simply performing a puppet play, shall we literally travel to the island of the Puppet King instead? Yes, yes. let's yes. do it. I don't want to wait for everyone else to answer. Yes, this is something we must do. I love your enthusiasm, Sky. Okay, then. Shall we? Yes. 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 Let's, Let's do, do it. Our story begins in Neuralgia, a small island off the coast of Jeff's place. For many years, Neuralgia was a pleasant place, one ruled by a just and happy king named Billy Mac. However, that king was killed by his ruthless look-alike doppelganger, also named Billy Mac, but with a different middle name, who didn't have much time for a just and happy king. And that new king is me, bitches! Billy motherfucking Mac! That's right. His full name was Billy motherfucking Mac. During Billy's reign, the island of Neuralgia became quite unbearable, and many struggled for food and shelter. This was particularly distressing to the inhabitants of Neuralgia, because the ruthless king, Billy Motherfucking Mac, looked just like their super-friendly predecessor, Billy Mac. And no one really had any idea this current king wasn't actually the original friendly king anymore. Exactly. You see? I'm little Anne. And I can't seem to get any food and shelter ever since Billy Mac turned suddenly and inexplicably evil. If only there was a clear-cut explanation that could clarify how a king could go from being so friendly to so evil in such a quick amount of time. One day, a sexy frog named Shiloh. <laughs> oh, hey, that's me. Ooh, yeah. And his professor friend, Professor Von Splackett, crashed their boat on the island. Unfortunately for the professor, his wife died in the crash. Oh, Shiloh, I seem to have found something in the wreckage. Oh, oh yes, what is it? It appears to be my wife's dismembered head. Oh, my! Shortly after this discovery, Captain Shiloh and Professor Von Splackett stumbled upon Anne, a young and shy orphan. 
Oh dear, who are these two strange men approaching me? They look like survivors of a great boat crash. Shiloh, do you see what I see? A young, beautiful lady. Oh my, yes, yes, I do. It's almost as if God is immediately replacing the loss of my wife with a younger, more beautiful version of her. Yes, I certainly think so. Oh my. Hello there, strangers. <laughs> I'm very much in distress. I can tell, my dear, and we believe we crashed on this island with the mission to protect you. You did? Where did you come from? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Professor Von Splackett, at your service. And I'm Shiloh. Ooh, yeah. We were on a boat tour, enjoying the beautiful waters around this island here, and we crashed. My wife was mercilessly beheaded. Oh no. Thankfully... Her beauty does not compare to yours. Smooth move, Professor. Meanwhile, as the Professor and Shiloh became acquainted with young Anne, the evil puppet king Billy Motherfucking Mac could be overheard complaining to his number one henchman, Manimal. This is some fucking bullshit. I'm a motherfucking king, and I don't have a beautiful babe at my side. I must find myself a queen. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, Manimal? <laughs> What the f*** are you talking about? I'm not even sure what to do with that information, but fine. <laughs> this is honestly nonsensical. As the puppet king Billy Motherfucking Mac and his thug henchman Manimal continued forming their diabolical plan to find a wife to reign by Billy's side, Professor Von Splackett had just finished his proposal to Anne, to which she said yes. I'm so happy, Professor. And I am fully over my old wife. And I feel so lucky to have just recently, and for no reason in particular, obtained my permit for becoming an officiant. That's kismet, baby. <laughs> now that you are my husband, Professor. Call me honey, please. Now that you are my husband, honey, can you help me survive the reign of the evil Billy Mac? I won't just help you survive his reign. I shall kill him. Oh, yeah. As the professor planned his attack on the puppet king, Billy motherfucking Mac decided who he would pick for his new queen. I've decided to marry the young redhead who feeds the cows around the town. I believe her name is Anne? Annie? Anne. Am I right? Okay, this is, this is seriously getting tired. Are you familiar with something being tired? This, this is just not... I mean, what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, honestly, that is enough. I guess I'm gonna have to do this all by my motherfucking self. With Manimal now dead and gone, Billy motherfucking Mac began preparing an arsenal for battle, including but not limited to a shotgun made of burlap, a knife made of plastic and rubber, and a green juice for nutrition. You have to stay fucking hydrated for this shit. Professor Von Splackett was also preparing for battle with a dedicated workout routine that concentrated primarily on core ab strength and small bursts of high-intensity calisthenics, followed by a devoted practice of Krav Maga that the professor truly believed could overcome the puppet king. Hey, Jeff. Sorry to interrupt the story. I'm not exactly sure how to make my puppet do mixed martial arts. Why don't you try moving your individual fingers around within the puppet's cavity? Okay. That certainly looks badass. Carry on. The time had finally come. Word had spread that Professor Von Splackett's MMA fighting techniques were becoming unstoppable. And with the death of Manimal, 
nothing could prevent Professor Von Splackett from overthrowing Billy motherfucking Mac. Well, 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 if it isn't Professor Splackett, the liberator of Neuralgia. Yes, I'm here to save the people of Neuralgia from your reign and protect my wife, Anna. Anne. My hero. You're already remarried? What the f*** is this? Your wife literally just got beheaded in a boat crash. Yes, that's uh, true. That, this isn't even funny. It's actually kind of sick. Like, this girl Anne is fairly young for you, too. I mean, what are you, 50? Y yes, but the yeah, thing is... Yeah, no, that's depressing, man. I mean, I'm, th I'm, th I'm thoroughly disgusted. I mean, I came here to kill you, but I, but I feel gross even touching you. It's just like an icky feeling I have in my stomach, this whole situation. I'm not actually even sure how to proceed. Are you going to take that, Professor? Sounds like a challenge to me. <laughs> you both are right. It's time for this puppet king to get stuffed. Take, take this! You will do. Ow, ow. Never! Ow! You're hurting Come on! No, what are you touching? I'm just trying to hear you! What, what, what? Uh, take this! Where did that hand uh, come from? Uh, Blocked! Alright! You got this! Blocked again! <sighs> You've caught me! You got me cornered! I yield! I knew you would lose! I executed one too many fighting styles for you to keep under wraps. And now I will end you and your tyrannical reign! It seems I have one more trick up my sleeve! Oh! Oh! Who stabbed me? Who presumably betrayed me as I was about to liberate Neuralgia? I did. No. At two, Shiloh. I'm sorry. I was always a secret frog assassin for Billy motherfucking Mac. The boat tour we were on was a ruse. I deliberately crashed the boat and decapitated your wife. To be perfectly honest, I had no idea you would remarry this quickly. I mean, nobody did. It was slightly confusing to our plan. Even I was a little taken aback by how fast you moved on. But Anna... Anne... But... Anne! You... You never loved me? Well, since everyone is revealing themselves, I, too, am in on the conspiracy. I'm actually already married. To whom? To Billy motherfucking Mac. He is my husband. Our marriage was a ruse to get you to die. And it worked. <laughs> uh, uh, this is so disappointing. Oh! Hooray! Hooray! Professor, Professor Von Splackett is, is dead! And thus ends the wild tale of Billy Motherfucking Mac, the puppet king of Neuralgia, who once faked out an old puppet professor for no real reason, other than to crash his boat, decapitate his wife, fool him into marrying someone too young for himself, and murder him for sport. <laughs> Wow, that was an incredible story. I really had no idea what was going to happen next, even though I was the person controlling the puppet. That's what I love about puppet play. I'm moved by puppet play. It moved me. I'm so glad you all loved releasing your emotions with the technique of puppet play. It's one of my favorites. Jeff, who is that in your house? There's someone in my house, Andrew Fleischer? Yes, look over there, by the couch. There are a bunch of other people standing in your house. And they look a lot like us. But we are standing here. I'll admit, I'm an expert, and my big brain has no idea how we could be standing in two places at once. Oh, look. It's Los Angeles-based comedian, improviser, and rapper, Brianna Hansen. It's so great to have you here. I'm really excited to be here. I'm a huge fan of you and your show, and I'm looking forward to showing off some amazing skills. This is so special. We've been dying to have you perform for us. Your comedy is so delightfully peculiar, and we truly can't wait to expose you to the world. Oh my goodness, that really is another you, Jeff. And that guy over there really is another me. And another me. My duplicate looks exactly like me. Hello, Brianna. I'm Sky, the postman. I am a big fan of your raps. Do you think you can teach me and the rest of my fun friends to rap? I'm scared to do it. No, 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 no. I have never been scared. Only curious. Aw, don't be scared. That's why I came today. 
I heard about your lesson on power and I wanted to be a part of that lesson. Rapping is a great way to explore feeling powerful. Isn't that exciting? It's uber exciting. Okay, I would never say uber. It does not sound like something you would say. I love that you're excited, Jacob. You're my best friend. Okay, yeah, so something is definitely not right here. What's going on, Jeff? What are they doing here? Why can't they hear us? I don't... I don't know. Hey, Brianna, would you be able to teach your rap skills to the rest of us? I would really like to learn how to do a rap. I don't know anything about rapping. That's simply not true. I'm an incredible rapper. It would be my pleasure. It's something I'm really comfortable doing on stage in front of people, and it's educational as well. Would you like to see me do a rap right now? I would personally love that. Just one moment, Brianna. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you all today. Oh, no. What do you mean? We weren't expecting you. I'm scared, Jeff. It's okay. Fear is just your body's way of accepting death. That's not true. What do you know? You are nothing but a liar. That's not... true. Now, gentlemen, it's time for you all to go. No, no, no. We are not going to leave. This is our house. This can't possibly get any worse. I'm sure it can. Jeff, are you going to do something? I don't... Don't bother him. He has a wife to get back to. What? A wife? Oh, he didn't tell you, did he? Gentlemen, I want to thank you for your time. We'll take it from here. Hey, Brianna. I'd love to hear that amazing rap you've prepared for us. Oh, hell yeah, I'll rap some shit. In the beginning was nothing, and then there was a big boom, and now you baby Yurk from the universe's womb. A few years later, bam, Earth was alive, with little tiny cells able to survive. Fast forward a few millennium, people are walking around, some standing up, others closer to the ground. Fast forward again, now we're a civilized race. Those and expectations all over the place. Some people get along and others fight wars, but for very early on, there were plenty of whores. A few things happened, then a few more. Some things are cool, most of them are a bore. And then the internet was invented, people started to create podcasts, blogs, and videos, and then like by fate, you found this song here and started to listen. Now I'm rapping in your ear like R. Kelly with all the person. The Jeff's Place podcast was created by Jeff Galfer, Sky Soleil, and Andrew Fleischer and is presented by Angry King Productions. The show is produced by Jeff Galfer, Sky Soleil, Andrew Fleischer, and Evan Shapiro. Written by Jeff Galfer and stars Jeff Galfer as Jeff, Sky Soleil as Sky, Andrew Fleischer as Andrew Fleischer, and Jacob Givens as Jacob. With music by Pete Larney, the saxophonist. Our guest stars for today's episode were George Hugh Nguyen as Nurse Hugh Nguyen. VO legend Mike McCall as Jeff's inner voice and Brianna Hansen as herself. You can check out Brianna's work at briannahansen.com. For more information on Jeff's Place or our production company, please visit jeffsplaceshow.com or angrykingproductions.com. 